morning guys welcome back to my channel i have been absent as you guys know if you followed me for a while because i have just started my job as a trainee corporate lawyer i'm in my second seat so we like rotate departments i thought i would answer a question and then i'll answer some more of your questions throughout the vlog so for context if you don't know i'm working at one of the magic circle law firms in london so my first seat was a dispute seat and my second seat is a specialist seat i still need to do two global transaction seats and i want to do a corporate seat at one point we've got to put our seat preference form in in a couple of weeks it all just happens so quickly because we only do a three month seat rotation at my firm as opposed to most firms you do six months in each seat anyway do you enjoy the work? Obviously, I think with any job, there are gonna be some things you enjoy doing more and some things you don't enjoy doing as much. What kind of work you get asked to do can really vary. And there are certain aspects of things that we get asked to do that I absolutely love. And there are things I don't enjoy as much. And I think that's completely normal. So I love legal research and really sort of like getting into the nitty gritty of things and being able to like think about legal problems. I love that deep thinking because I actually find the law itself really really interesting but yeah there are obviously some things that i enjoy more than others but generally i do enjoy the work and i'm definitely really enjoying this seat that i'm currently in so yes i'm gonna go to the gym now i really don't want to but i'm trying to get more into the routine of just going i'm not really being strict about doing like really long workouts so i literally do like three sets of three exercises and then leave just to get back into the routine of training i always feel great after i have gone and I know that it's really good for my mental health. It is hard to fit around life and fit everything in while working. to give you your daily reminder to drink some more water. I have just got back from the gym and I'm about to make a water drop drink. If you haven't heard of them already, they make micro drinks. So this one is the micro light one, which is specifically for after or during sport activities um, because they are packed full of electrolytes and vitamins. So I always have these after I've been for a run and often after I've been to the gym to rehydrate carry them around everywhere just drop them into your water like that and then they fizz away they taste great that's melon flavor which is my favorite of the microlite one but they do all different flavors so if you generally just want to drink more water you have loads to choose from they also have gorgeous water bottles i can't find my glass one but i got this beautiful new yellow one but yes if you're trying to meet goals of drinking more water or trying to reduce your plastic consumption because obviously this uses way less plastic and buying drinks in single-use plastic bottles then water drop is the place to go and i have a code for you guys which i will put up here it's libby for 10 percent off of your purchase on water drop so i'm going to enjoy my drink now and i hope you guys love it as much as i do i have just got back from the gym but i thought i'd answer another question quickly before i jump in the shower so i had a few about work life balance i'd say that it's definitely been a shock transitioning from like the flexibility of being a student even though i was busy and i was working a lot of hours it was like whenever i wanted to do it so if i wanted to take two hours out in the middle of the day to go to the gym pick up some food shopping whatever it might be i could do that i also just think it really depends like it depends what seat you're in it depends what matters you're on it depends what's happening at that point in that matter so there are really busy periods for sure there have been some periods where i've worked long hours consistently there have been also some quieter periods i think i have to be quite intentional about fitting stuff in now and like making plans ahead of time and i can be very tired so like getting to the gym and stuff can be quite difficult and i've sort of fallen out of the consistent routine of doing it so as i said earlier i want to just get into the routine of going to the gym and not being a perfectionist about it not thinking i've got to lift really heavy weights every time or do a complete workout every time just getting to the gym doing some movement and as i said not being perfectionist about it and just doing it a bit more often so that i get into the routine of it again i also want to start a running training program again but i have been getting to the gym sort of like once a week probably and then managing to go for like a one run a week i think sometimes a little bit more but over christmas when i had lots of free time i was so excited to be going to the gym again and to be able to like go and do a sea swim and all of those things were the things that i was most excited for so i want to be able to try and fit them into my schedule more i think it's just a matter of working out 
what your priorities are because it's not necessarily possible to fit everything that you want to do in and I think maybe I've just had to adjust my expectations of what I can do and not beat myself up about it. after the gym so I got two books I got strong female character by Fern Brady which is a memoir I have already listened to this on audible but I wanted to have a physical copy of it and it's just come out on paperback and I'd always rather have the paperback because they're all the same size so it looks nice on a bookshelf where you can stack them easily and, and then I also got After Sappho which I have had on my want to read list I think it's like lots of vignettes of women's stories throughout history and it's signed by the author and I like having books that are signed by the author and I thought this edition was quite pretty as well so I picked both of those up in Waterstones and then I got a couple of home bits so I got a toothbrush holder a matching soap dispenser for our bathroom from Tiger. And then I also got a soap dish because I got some soap bars for Christmas, but I didn't have a soap dish. And then I also popped into a charity shop to look at the books, but I ended up getting this beautiful dress, which is 100% silk. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it, but it's, it's like turtleneck, but it cuts in a halter. At the back it's got a beautiful ribbon um, and like a bit of a keyhole back. And it's 100% silk and it was only 15 pounds. So I didn't know where to get it because I don't know when I'm going to wear it. But I thought I'd wear it with like patterned tights and little kitten heels or something. I wasn't sure whether to get it or not, but I texted my mum and she was like, just get it. So yeah, that's everything that I got. Actually, I'll answer another question while we're here. But then I'm going to do my nails and I'm actually going out this evening for one of my friend's birthdays. So I'm going to do my nails and then I'll probably get ready for that. I managed to read 50 books last year, but that was only because I read eight books in five days so after christmas between new year two of them i actually just finished so i was halfway through two i finished both of those and then i read another six um so i'm gonna try and be a bit more consistent this year and not rush at the end as much as i loved like devouring books and having nothing else that i really needed to be doing i'm gonna try and read a little bit more consistently because that was harder once i started my job i've already read three this year um and it's not even we've not even done the first week of january yet so i am on a good track so far i've had what do you miss most about being a student and what do you love most about your job and i've had a few about like what's the most challenging um and what do you enjoy the most so i would say what i enjoy the most about the job is that we're working on really really relevant interesting matters that have a huge impact on a lot of things and a lot of people so that's really interesting to be involved with that and also just the level of training that I know I'm getting and that I'm getting the opportunity to develop as the best possible lawyer that I can be is really exciting to me and I think I miss the most about being a student again it's the same things it's just the flexibility like I miss being able to have control over my own schedule and do things when I want to do them. Even when I was doing YouTube and filling my time when I was at uni with like extracurricular roles, everything that I did was my choice. I did it on my own terms. I did it in my own time whenever I wanted to do it. And obviously by the nature of having a job, you just have a lot less flexibility. I don't really have much control over the work that comes in. As a trainee, you don't have necessarily a huge amount of oversight of what you're gonna be given. You get more of that as you get more senior. So 
from one week to the next, I won't necessarily know what is gonna be coming in for me. So there are ways to mitigate against that, but I think fundamentally those things will be a key feature of moving from being a student to being a trainee. It's just gone eight o'clock and I'm meeting some of my friends at a bar for one of my friend's birthdays. So I have to head over to Waterloo now. So this is the outfit. I've got black waisted trousers. This is handmade and I have matching trousers, but they're a bit short. I also thought it was a bit much to wear a full two piece. And then I've also got my cowboy boots on, but I'm gonna sign the video off here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one.